I'm going to show you in this video how to tackle a problem from the SAT that although a lot of people struggle with it, it's actually quite simple. So I encourage you as always to pause the video and figure this out on your own. So let's just give it a read. The equation P is equals to 14.7 plus 0.439D approximates the pressure P in pounds per square inch exerted on a diver at a depth of D feet below the surface of the water. What is the increase in depth that is necessary to increase the pressure by one pound per square inch? So what they're saying is essentially you have a linear equation P is equals to 14.7 plus 0.439D where P is the pressure and D is the depth and what they're saying is what is the increase in pressure what is the increase in depth necessary to increase the pressure by one pound per square inch or in other words what they're saying is that if the pressure the pressure increases by one how much does the depth increase increase so let's think about what feature of a linear equation or a function gives us the relation between the change in one variable and the change in the other variable that feature is called the slope of an equation so if I have any linear equation in the form y equals mx plus c where y and x are the variables and m and c are the constants the constant m would be our slope and this slope m is defined as the change in y divided by the change in x or in this case it would be the change m would be equal to the change in p over the change in d and in this case m is equal to 0 0.439 so we know what m is it is 0 0.439 we know what the change in p is it is a 1 so it's a 1 divided by the change in d and now I just need to rearrange this a little bit to get to the change in d which is equal to when I take this to the other side and this down here it's going to become 1 over 0 0.439 so boom that is your answer option a now let's crank it up a notch let me scroll down to the next question I encourage you to pause the video and give this one a try yourself so let's just give it a read an auto repair company finds that the average monthly maintenance cost in dollars for a particular model of car used for m months is given by the equation above so you have an equation where c let me change the color so c here is the cost and m here is the months that the car has been used for what is the number of additional months of use so the word additional months of use tells us that we need to find the change in m such that the corresponding additional monthly maintenance cost the additional monthly maintenance cost is the change in c and what is that equal to the change in c is equal to the initial monthly maintenance cost of an unused car so in this case the change in in c is not explicitly stated but we need to find it out we need to find the initial monthly maintenance cost so let's do that so the equation let me write down the equation again it's c equals to actually let me multiply this 1.5 to both of them so 1.5 times an 11.4 is a 17.1 plus a 1.5 m this is the equation and the change in c is equals to the initial cost right so what is the initial cost how do we get to the initial cost to, to get to the initial cost we need to find the cost when the months of use were zero right when the months of use were zero that's 
where what the initial cost was so the initial cost is going to be 17.1 plus because all of this is just going to become a zero so now we know the change in c the change in c is equals to 17.1 and our slope in this case is equals to a 1.5 it's the coefficient of m so a 1.5 is equals to this is defined as the change in C over the change in M. We know what the change in C is, so I can rewrite this as 1.5 equals to 17.1 over the change in M. And now to find the change in M, all I need to do is just rearrange this a little bit. It's going to become change in M is equals to 17.1 divided by a 1.5. This is going to go here. This is going to come down. It's going to become an 11.4. Right there is the increase in the additional months of use. Basically, the additional months of use. And this is your answer.